Um, before the notices, I'll say a few words about my father. It's an honor for me to be here today paying tribute to my father, just as it was an honor and a privilege to have him as a father for the past 45 years. To the rest of the big world, he was Kofi Annan, global statesman par excellence. To me, he was simply daddy, my hero. Over the past few weeks, much has been said about my father as a statesman. Today, I want to share what he was like as my daddy. Daddy's singular gift was that he believed ferociously in humanity's potential. He believed in our ability to see past superficial differences and embrace our common destiny to create a world more equal. He believed in everyone's ability to achieve extraordinary things if they were simply given the opportunity. And he believed in the redeeming power of love. He believed in that for all of us, and he believed in that for me. When I was seven years old, as you've heard, I lived alone with Daddy in Geneva. I repeat, alone. It was a relatively novel for a traditional African man to be raising a kid solo, but Daddy made it work, and he made it great, even while juggling senior level responsibilities at the UN. When I had peritonitis and needed emergency surgery, within a day, Daddy dropped everything and was by my bedside. When things fell apart in my life, Daddy would put me back together piece by piece. When the world turns back on me, Daddy stood by me. He loved me unconditionally, I loved him unconditionally, and most importantly, he taught me how to love unconditionally. In 45 years, a week never went by without us speaking. And now I'll have to go the rest of my life without speaking to him. But his lessons, his inspiration, and his legacy will sustain me as I go on. All that he ever wanted was for all of us to summon forth the better angels of our nature, to summon forth unity, to summon forth equality, to summon forth love, to summon forth peace, and to summon forth respect. He spent his entire life in service of these ideals. The greatest tribute we could ever pay to him is to follow his example. It is befitting that Daddy, who was so much a man of the world, should be seen off to his final resting place by such an impressive representation of the world. We have tried to accommodate in true Kofi Annan style, his own wishes, and the dictates of him being a global citizen and a proud Ghanaian. We are grateful for the honor bestowed on him by the president, the government, and the people of the republic, and for the presence of so many of you from around the world. After this service, there'll be a private burial at the new military cemetery. The rest of you are invited to reception at the rooms above this International Conference Center Hall. This will mark the end of Kofi Annan's funeral. We thank you all. Rest in perfect peace, Daddy. We love you.